So guys, right now, I have got a medicine ball with me. If at home you don't have a medicine ball, that doesn't matter. You can still use some form of resistance, whether it's water bottles or dumbbells. This is just great because it's easy to throw and catch. Any throwing movements I do, I wouldn't recommend any resistance. But some of the other stuff, as we go through, I'll let you know when to grab any other form of dumbbell or water bottle that you have. So this is gonna be quite intense, high level, high energy, tons of calories are going to be burnt right now. So the very first exercise we are going to do is a squat to a knee lift. It's going to be a twisting motion. So the ball starts in front of you. You're going to squat. As you come up, you're going to lift and rotate. So all together, we've got 60 seconds on this exercise. I'm going to take it quite steady. If you're at home and you've got a lot of energy, I want you to do as many as you can in this 60 seconds that is a pure quality. So are we ready? Three, two, one. You're gonna squat, you're gonna lift and rotate. Change it to the other side. So you're trying to think nice and tall, keep your abdominals pulled in. Every time you squat, your knees stay behind your toes. Rotate. Rather than just moving the arms, I'd like you to try and turn the chest or the torso towards that thigh. How are we doing? Should be feeling warmer. Heart rate should definitely be going up. You've got 30 seconds left. Sit back in those heels, push it back, lovely, lift. And again, push back, lift. Looking good, keep moving. I promise you're right near the end now of that 30 seconds. We've got under 10 left. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, and have a break. That was pretty much working the whole body. We're now going to move into a more of a high calorie burner kind of cardio exercise. And this is called a burpee. Now I'm going to talk you through this nice and steady. If, however, you're used to doing this exercise and you want to pick up the pace, by all means, turn that music up in the background and take over your own momentum. You've got 60 seconds to do this exercise. So let me show you it first of all. We're going to stand, take it down towards the floor, hands go either side of the ball, step back or jump back if you can. You're then going to step back in, grab your ball and jump. Okay? So we've got one minute, 60 seconds of that exercise. Can we do it? I think we can. So start with your feet hip width, ball in hand. We're going down first of all. Four, three, two, one. Take it down. Step it out. Step it back in or jump. Come up. Push it. Let's go again. Take it down. Hands go wide. Step it back into a plank. Bring it back in. Ball up jump. Remember, if you're used to doing this, by all means, pick up your pace. Ooh, I'll make it a little bit harder. Take it down, hold the plank, pull it back in. Ready? Jump. And again, down, take it out, bring it back in, and jump. Let's do it again. More. Still 10 seconds left. I think we can manage this last one. Ready? Big explosion. Whew. You're done. Catch your breath, have a breather, shake out those legs. If you manage to squeeze in another one before the end of that minute, good job. Now, your next exercise is called a wood chop. You're going to take your feet wider than hip width. Using the ball as resistance, we are going to lean and lift. So we're ready. 30 seconds each side. Three, two, one. Lean it, lift. Lean, lift. And again, lean, lift. You can do this with dumbbells, with your water bottle, or let me just show you without. You can actually take it down and lift it through. Take it down, lift it through. So remember, you can do this without resistance. You're still gonna be working core, legs, and upper body. 
then let's change it up to the other side. Are we ready? Take it down, push it up. Take it down, push it up. And again, if you feel comfortable with the weight you have and you can stretch all the way up, guys, go for it. 10 seconds. Come on, I know we can do two more at least. One more. One more. <laughs> and have a break. Well done, guys. Shake out those legs. Good news. Lower body gets a break. Upper body's gonna get a little bit of work. 